you, science! Show them what you got. We're street legal. We're street legal with a fire truck. We got plates and insurance. We're ready to rock. So now, now we really Let's just drive around looking for parades and just join in. That's not a bad idea. This is cool. Yeah. So since it's street legal, let's put it on the street. All right. Welcome to today's captain's blog. It, what the fuck is that? I know, that's why I was like, damn, I gotta go for bed. That is not staying there. I know it's not staying there. <laughs> Put it there. Somebody's, somebody's set up for nap time in the fire truck. <laughs> Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1255 hours on October 22nd, 2014. Hey, we should put the flags up. I don't have the hardware to do this. It's a piece of pipe. I don't have the right diameter. I got really thin shit, which you know will bend. I'm working on it. It's got to do like a $20 trip down the course. All right, we got to get pipe. Can I can I press the green button on that? Show them what you did. Yeah, go for it. It's safe. And then I'll show you the master key. All right. So look at this. This is cool. Yeah, I figured that out. Maybe maybe more than twice. There you go. Hey Moose, do you see this yet? Watch this. There's your your regular facing cut that you know and love. And we're going to change tools. Then the C drive comes in. Now look at this. Okay, so that's not that exciting yet. That's like, okay, it could just be, could just be drilling. But then it turns. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's milling on the lathe. Pretty cool. That's a legit Y-axis work. So what do you got? Oh, okay. That's XC. That's XC, okay. I made this specific version of the master So we're making the the program you're seeing right there is a program that runs that part, which is the cylinder block for the model one. What you doing? These. Yeah. A little, a little bit of a tip. Okay. Be removed. Okay. Cool. Off. Getting ready to be packaging, doing stuff. It's gonna be cool. But that is a whole new thing. And once we master how to do it, then we can teach people how to do it. And then you get videos on how to do it. It's gonna be cool. So. Yeah. I'm going to get things moving. So I caught hell in the blog yeah. for standing on the back. Oh yeah? That's against the law, the National Fire Protection Act law or something. I don't really care because we're not legit firemen and we're not using this in a legit firefighting capacity. Yeah. It's just our truck. Right. And I spent my whole time ah. riding on the back of the truck. So I think we're backing up now. Tap the buzzer. Yeah, I, I... Oh, now we're legit. I've ridden on the back of garbage trucks, so... <laughs> now, see, that's gotta be pretty fun. For the My, mind the smell. Stops, and then it's yeah. like, ah, fuck this shit. We're on a fire truck. Yeah! are using every bit of the electrical system on this <laughs> Batman, turn the lights off! He can't hear me. Can't have the lights on the road, that's for sure. He'll turn them off when we get there. Batman, turn the lights off. Dude, I could ride it in the street, I know. 
Oh God, yes, that smooths it right out. Hey Casey, What's up? on the fire truck we have a set of uh, flag post holders. Yep. These. Yep. I need four flag posts that just perfectly slide in and come out the top of this about three feet. You want one down or? No, I'm just seeing a piece of pipe. Okay. I mean, it'd be awesome if it was aluminum. I want something that won't rust or anything. I bet you I have. That's, that's what I was thinking is you might have something that'll just fit it or could be made to fit it. But you can get an aluminum pipe in any size you can imagine, so it can't be that hard to do. Oh, we got the ore mill. Yeah, we, we got a thing from Tactical Heat Change, so that's going to be cool. I'm asking Jerry how heavy it is. It has to be broken, but I'm going to wait to it. Maybe titanium. Didn't Batman go with us? <laughs> yeah, he was still in the truck. He was playing with something. I think he also lived there. Oh, all right. See, and that's why we closed the doors. I feel like we've been here before. I have. Hi there, guys. I'm Chris Bowden. It's 1,400 hours on Wednesday, October 22nd, 2014. That's not annoying at all. We have a box from Brad at tacticalkeychains.com and it's massive. And very fragile apparently. It's very delicate and really big. Should be crushed. Much like Batman. He sent it. I sent my testicles to be made to a tactical keychain or Batman. <laughs> Okay. Good. I get the impression that he's doing it over the trash can. I thought he was going to flip it for this. It would be awesome if he just sent us a box of packing nuts. It's actually a million little tiny things. They've been shoved inside each packing unit. So, Brad. At tacticalkeychains.com, <laughs> sent us this. <laughs> you pay by weight, not by size. Yeah. <laughs> We've also learned that Brad at tacticalkeychains.com is a dick. <laughs> we knew that. <laughs> so we have the CU Mag Copper Magnet, five pound pull paracord pull thing, a grade 5 titanium stone washed tie key, this is a key holder, it holds up to eight, to 8 keys and there's a lanyard hoop included, and the TKMB titanium ink pen sandblasted bronze anodized Fisher space pen refill, it's magnetic, throw it at the red mailbox. Fucking magic, man! How does that shit work? Thank you, Brad. This is cool. Brad and I have been talking a lot about his titanium pens. Yeah? They're really cool. That's actually a really good design for a pen. I mean, that sucks. Is it screw? It screws. And this is a refill for a Fisher Space Pen or something like that. Or it has a Fisher Space Pen refill. That's the refill you That's use. That's the refill you use for it. You buy them at Office Max. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So those are easy to get? Yeah. 
That's X, yeah. <laughs> we found the new, you know, birthday pin. Oh, come on. If you're going to do it, you got to. I'm not doing it fast for that. It's like I do it with a Sharpie. And I'm a little out of practice. I, like when, when, when I was performing daily, I used to do that trick a lot doing walk around magic. Mm -hmm. And you take a Sharpie. Now here's your inside mad magician knowledge. You take a Sharpie, you hold it here. Okay, now there's, there's two ways to do this. And the method depends a lot on the performer. But I'll show you both of the methods that I learned. Practice this. Try not to stab yourself in the eye, but practice this, and you too can torment little children, and that's really what life is all about. Hold it like this with the cap at the bottom, okay? You put it here, and you've got, you, you want to like, because you've got a nice thing to brace against, especially if you have a proboscis the size of mine. But you put it right here, and then you let go, and here's, here's from the side. You let go with your hand, and it, it'll hang there just long enough that you can rocket your hand up, grab it, and it's like that. That's the easy way. The advanced handling, and this works, for, this works even better with cigarettes. Um, but you, you crush the cartilage on the side of your nose just a little bit, okay, like that. And it'll pop, as it pops back, it'll push it back. And with a cigarette, you do it just enough for it'll just, you can feel it with a cigarette. You can feel it just start to bow a little. And when you, when you go like that, it'll snap into your hand. And, and your hand never goes up here, it just pops. And, and you jerk your head with it as you go, and you can end up with it in like a, this is too big to do it, but you end up with it in like a finger palm, holding it kind of like this, with a cigarette down about here, and you just, it's fun to do it drop it in. Huh? It's fun to do it with a the, the trick to make this work is to do it really, really fast. So you need to, you, you prepare, you stuff, and you pull it back really fast. And this all have like, and some people do it where they'll go like, and they'll pull it back like that, and you, so it vanishes and reappears, and it freaks people out if you do it right. But you gotta practice, you gotta you practice a lot, as is true with pretty much any magic trick. So, yeah, that so we have, this is the space pen thing, which is called the TKMB Titanium Ink Pen, and this one is sandblasted and bronze anodized titanium, which is really sexy. I like that. I need a motorcycle like that. This, is a CU mag, copper magnet, five pound pull paracord hole. So this is designed to fit 550 cord. And it looks like a bullet. It's really sexy. I'll put this right here. So that's, that's what it looks like. And yes, Batman, that would work really well for a magnet on a rope. And then we've got this here which has pieces. This is tie key. It's a key holder made out of grade five titanium, stone washed, holds up to eight keys. So it's like a Swiss army knife for keys, basically, is how it works. So that is a thing. I'm gonna try this out. I will put all of these into rotation. We'll check them out. I'll do a little review on them. And afterwards, I'll talk to Brad about getting some stuff to give away and we'll, we'll give these out to people. It'll be a thing. And you can learn all about them at tacticalkeychains.com. And the winner, Jerry, of today's viewer contest gets a couple tactical keychain stickers. We'll send those out to people. All right? Cool. Thank you, Brad. You guys have fun. Oh, no, no. Shit, there's more. There's so much more. What? There's a box. There's a damn box. From Steven. Sudos. Sudos. There's, there's a note on the side. Other side. Attention, Michael Jablonski in viewer mail. I know that guy. Mike's not in today, but I will open this for him. Because he'd be sad if I didn't. Oh, no, no. Well, it's only half a page. Note, I wrote the following like a month ago. Time and money have prevented this from being sent in. Thus, aside from thus written below and closed are an Xbox 360 20 gig hard drive, which tests okay and is an immaculate smart readout. 
Also enclosed in a square wrapped cardboard makeshift stiffener, you will find delicious vinyl nougat, complete with wrapper, of which hopefully, hopefully you'll survive the trip. Begin message. For your totally non-anal enjoyment, please find the following enclosed. Mix assortment of 250 volt fuses of two different ratings by two different brands. New old stock French made bearings from West Germany. Yeah. No. I'll check when I get down there, but I think I know what I'm looking for. Electromagnetic clutches of the same areas, uh, same era as the bearings. They're a bit newer and are probably from the same piece of machinery. Google says it's for a Siemens 2050 of some type, a photocopier perhaps. Grease smell from the bearings makes me think that, but I'm a printer's son, so I'm used to scent smells. The new estate stamp clutch, 21 of 1994, seems to have the smoothest bearings of the three. Monkey says it might be 12 or 24 volts, but it's most likely 12. And Monkey is probably hot. One full PlayStation 2 copy of GTA Vice City with user guide and sexy pinup insert. And Batman has a quite a little the pinup that does it for you. Oh, the game. It's oh, okay. Game. This is for a Let's Play. You can open the poster. It's just art. It's not real porn, man. It's just art. And it's not even pornographic in the first place. Lobby art with the game consoles. Anyway. These were all saved for the game. Another thrift store pickup, as were the fuses, which seemed to be good. Sam's still shaking around inside. Have fun, and please don't enjoy the fuses anally. You'll never get them out. I have experience in this. They will not fill up your pee hole either. Don't even try. You don't know how big my pee hole is, thanks to Jessica and GCSA, who have been sending me some terrifying toys. Can fit an entire American football in there last time I tried. I know you want to, but please know, dear God, oh dear God, please know. With lots of warm, fuzzy smiles that send a chill up your spine all through the rest of the month, Steve Sudos, you sick bastard. That's going on. Please do not read the following aloud. This is for your eyes only. As you once asked a while back, I am... <laughs> okay, now I know. Putting that on the wall and the rest of the internet will just wonder about it. Sorry for the shit-tastic packaging, but this is going to look awesome on your wall. You are very welcome. Oh, I think it's the record. Yeah. It is. He found a copy in the original wrapper from Fontana Records a copy of Winchester Cathedral by the New Vaudeville Band, which is, as far as record collection stuff goes, because there's a lot of people in the world who are crate diggers, and I appreciate that, is pretty much worthless. However, when I was a little boy, this record had great meaning to me because it was my grandfather's favorite song, and she had this exact same record, and I grew up listening to music in her house, so it's a little your grandfather's? Grandmother. Your grandfather too, sorry. So, yeah. My grandfather, I don't know, but this, this was a thing with my grandmother, and it's a whole thing, and that's getting framed and going on the wall of my house. Because that was the first record I ever really got into as a little, little kid, and music's kind of an important part of my life. So this is Grand Theft Auto Vice City, which totally doesn't have any porn on it at all. There's no porn. Art. That's art. So this has the, yeah, this has the thing. Actually. All right, let's let's check this out. This is totally not porn. It's art. There you go. It's absolutely not porn. That's art. So we should we should do that because it's not porn. It's art. It's not porn. She's just swimsuit. If you can wear it outdoors, it's not porn. And you can totally wear that outdoors in Michigan for a few months of the year. So we have fuses. Those are way small. Not even. Um, lots of interesting clutches. These are fun. That's the hard drive? Mm -hmm. It's a funny looking hard drive. 
Where's the nougat? The nougat of vinyl. Huh? Vinyl nougat. Not the record. Yeah. Oh. Nougat. You were hoping okay. for candy. I was like, just candy. candy. Enjoy today's Vera Mail. It's probably the last one we're going to have for a while that does not include large amounts of very small stuff sheep. I might have done a thing this morning. For all the sheep, I'm sorry. It's going to be a thing. How? We need more sheep. Not inflatable sheep. Do not send inflatable sheep because they suck. The only thing you can do with an inflatable cow is just set it up there and, and it's a cow. We, sheep need to be able to, like, because if we have sheep and they're like stuffed sheep or plastic sheep and stuff like that, we can put them around and let them do stuff with them. Because you're all sheep. I don't know if you guys caught the morning show or not, but you're all sheep. This is a cult and everything. It's a scam. It's a cult the whole night. I already have a Sharpie. I'm cool. Do you have a Sharpie? Yeah. Yeah? Who doesn't have a Sharpie? He also can't catch. That's today's viewer mail. I want to thank everybody for tuning in live. And I want to thank Brad at Tactical Keychains and Sue Doss for sending me vinyl nougat. You guys have fun. As always, we will see you later after this. You, there is no after this. We'll, you'll just be back. You're, we're on to the next thing already. Look. So, we're just wrapping up. We just did a shoot. And we did the big old Black & Decker drill. That got autopsied and a gas meter which is really really awesome inside and that's going to be made into a display so they're striking the set ah, that was work i like my job though so it's okay so that's that we did autopsy now casey has something he wants me to see casey you had something you wanted me to see uh oh yeah 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 I just picked a crappy time to do it because I've been shooting autopsies I, for a while. I said, if you have time, I got time. I'm here. So we were playing around with what the cylinder could look like to okay. do some better tool pads with it. And this is what we wanted to see. What I like that. That's totally cool. Do it. Okay. I thought you were going to do angles. That's just easier. Uh, we can use a bigger tool so okay. we can have more stick out. I like that. Cool. All right, do it. Make another hundred of them. There's, a, hundred. there's 140 people on the list. I thought you wanted 200. Make 200 of them. They'll sell. People want them. It's a good idea. How you doing, sir? Good. We're still scraping. Uh, only until the time that this is ready to be bolted on. It's How long until that's ready? Another couple minutes. Okay. You're just doing finishing touches? Yeah, sometimes, and the rest of these are actually pretty, I need to go back and double check this one, but we get some crud built up in here. And I trust you, but the heads really do go on today, right? Oh yeah. Really? By the time I go to bed, both cylinder heads will be bolted on. Okay. How long till it starts? Just a couple days. Okay. I believe in you. I believe. We'll be back. Hey, there's an invention with that. No, it's been done. Yep. Yeah? Yeah, you ought to see his ass. It's just... Exactly. Yep. Let, me, let, me, let me see this here. You take this. You want the point one? Shit, we should have been using that... Sounds like Doogie's car. I kind of like this. this is, so you can, see what you do. Is you, can I switch? Here, hold that. Okay. No. Nope. It doesn't work without a. It doesn't work without the thing. Nope. It depends on the spring to return it. Well, that's tough. Okay. Well, stick your finger in there. I stick my finger in there. <laughs> Stick your finger in there. Stick your Not dick in it. Safety first, intern. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I did an autopsy today of a gas meter. Yeah, fucking awesome. Yeah, watching the watching the mechanical yeah. movement in there. Yeah. So what I want to do second. is I want to make a Lexan enclosure for it, like for the whole because the bottom's got to be going like this. 
I, I couldn't see it because it won't work without an enclosure, but I want to make a Lexan box for it, just, just a box, and run air through it and have it sit on a table with like a little putt putt, like, like a compressor like that, and just shh, 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 sh and have all this shit. Oh. Dude, I think that'd look really, really cool at a maker. You know what you need one of those compressors on? I am not doing that to my dick anymore. That shit. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of bruising. And man, no. It's, it's alright. I'll be on that end next time. Okay. I'm down with that. We should pull those on the fuser. One of those? Do you know why? Because it'll pull away harder vacuum. Maybe a little bit, but it's quieter. It's completely quiet. Okay. And if you stick your fingers at it, we'll get wrapped up in the belt. Do they tolerate getting back pulled? Because when you turn it off, it's going to back feed into the tank. That's why you put a check valve. It'll do it very slowly. Yeah. Check valve. It, it won't hurt it. Will they tolerate running without lubrication? Because in that world, the lubrication comes from the Freon going through it. Uh, and when you take the Freon away... Yeah, there's... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Parsons is with us tonight. It's gonna bug me for a while. So you gonna like put that on there or you're just gonna sit there and massage it? Because you're turning me up. See this is the difference between you and him. Go give me a bigger scotch belt What's his head? No. I tickle a little. Still. Huh? So? Oh god, it's actually went in focus and that looks really we'll fucking cool. Rough stuff, and then he, his head can do the final polish. Down with that. What are you doing? You can use the back of my head. Doing the what same shit. What manner of <laughs> fucked up porn are you shooting with my camera? Same <laughs> shit you used to do to me. Shut up, sheep. Shut up, sheep. <laughs> 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 Even if the rest of the world says that's bad, you can still fuck your sheep. You have to go to New Zealand to do it, but you can do it. Alright. It's very... You just got here. It's like a half hour. Okay. It's so hard being you. Well... Where are you going to go? Right? To do things and stuff. With who? With people. You don't know any people. Well, you I hang out with people. us. So? You're not my only friend. Well, no, but St. Joe's a bit of a hype. He's not my only friend either. How many guys you bang with this week? It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> she had to think about that for a second. And that was the moment I won. So I'm just going to stop right there. I... No. Hey, have you seen this? Yeah. Yeah? I might need your nipples for a little while. No. Swedish penis and larger pump. <laughs> this is pretty cool. What you need to do is mm. put it up your nose when you test it. It's not bad. It's been said three times today. Now. It would work. I want to invent. This would be like great for whiteheads. Who's got a zit? I need a zit. Good. Good. He never went through puberty. He doesn't have any zits. He has like perfect fucking skin, amazing hair, but he's three feet tall. He's stuck in. He's got more facial hair than I did at 23. Yeah, you not so much with it. You just... And that's all you get. <laughs> these little chin nubs. You get to see... You just... And that... He looks like a little goat. It's freaky as hell. It just fucks He's me. not a goat, he's a sheep. God. If I sneeze hard, hard enough, head, they... I'm gonna let you, because you've already put enough weird out. shit against the side of my head. <laughs> that was fun. It's a little vibrator among friends. <laughs> Wanna try the Hitachi? No. I got, I got like three of them in stock right now. We can have fun. I'm not surprised. I'm just saying, they give it a try. <laughs> yeah, actually, they are. Has one got a French tickler as well? No, we just set them up and find the resonant frequency of rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I got a plan. I got a whole plan. I, I'm gonna go I that saw that a now. thing. I saw a thing. Yeah. Years ago. Um, who's the shock jock out of New York? Howard, Howard Stern. Stern. He took a speaker cabinet and put it on the floor and gave a girl orgasms by taking a microphone and going <laughs> like this. And he did it with just a little little one? Yeah. 
No, no I got. It would knock me out. We, no, oh, you'd be yeah, fine. Yeah, no, I already don't like being in the same room when that's turned up. It, it'll be great. Like we'll go to low frequencies. Drunk. Do you know what the brown note is? <laughs> I don't know. If you want to learn? No. We could. We right could do. Now. Cause man, I'm telling you, that'd be great blog. Yeah, you no. Watch South Park? Huh? You watch South Park? Not since like 1995. The brown oh, note existed that. before South Park. Well, I know that it exists, but... You know who the first person was, was that... Yeah. You know who the first person was that discovered that? Who? Mark Twain. Alright, like a hundred years ago, Mark Twain and Tesla were friends. Tesla was kind of, kind of queer for resonance. And he made he had this table that would vibrate at different frequencies. It was a demonstration of mechanical resonance. And Mark Twain used to think it was funny as shit to sit on the table and get bounced around because he'd be like, right? Okay. So Mark Twain would ride the fucking table, and this was a thing. It's, I got to imagine Tesla's lab was a lot like ours, where you're trying to do some actual stuff, and there's always some dumb fuck around. like, I'll ride that! Oh, because, yeah, okay. <laughs> so Mark Twain's riding his table, and then he shits himself. And he wrote about this. Like, it's out there. I, I don't even remember whether this was a while back when I came across this, but Mark Twain shit himself because he wrote it, because it loosens everything up, you know? And, and he shit himself. And you got to just think of how cool a day that was. You have Nikola Tesla hanging out with Mark Twain, fucking around with one of Tesla's toys, and Twain shits himself. And that's just cool. That's, I would blog that. Sounds- so... It's a hundred years later, we have technology, we have amplifiers over there that are measured in horsepower, and Rose makes good poops. How do you know? Because you're Rose. You don't make good poops? I already pooped today. So, I'll like, bet I can get another one twice. out of you. I'm good. Shake it loose. You got, yeah, no. we, we just, we no. get you all no. worked up. No. Just accelerates okay. everything. I can help, because I got some of that wheat germ shit. You do a couple lines of that, yeah. you're set. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. It's totally how the hippies do it. That's it's how that's how they get high in the 21st century. No. The hippies get together and they drink rose hip tea, bathe in patchouli oil, and do lines of fucking wheat germ through a piece of bamboo straw, a natural organic bamboo straw. <laughs> fucking wheat germ. I... You don't want to do the honey roasted kind though, because it clumps. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mental picture for you, huh? What is my life? And you know what happens if you get a bunch of clumped up wheat germ up your nose? That's where granola bars come from. Yeah, see? Granola bars. I can there. package that and sell that for eight and a half hours. I'm here to help. So. Somewhere there's a sweatshop. Somewhere. <laughs> and a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. <laughs> and it's in Seattle. No, Portland. It's in Portland. Like two or three good business We could, models. somebody could be fucking doing something. Other than him, who's massaging that thing until it, like, jits on his hand. There could be progress happening. There could be something happening. There could be a lot and of things happening. There's, okay, there's a $5 reward for whoever finds a missing fucking washing. Alright. Add two zeros under that and yeah. I'll get to it. There are two zeros under that. 5.00. I'll add more zeros after that. Two zeros before the decimal. You can add as many zeros as you want after that decimal point. Cream decimal. You got a spark plug. I just made it. One that fits this. Should be awesome. I'd be afraid you're going to start to sit there and start rubbing your head. Castle nut. <sighs> That's a whole lot of real work. Okay. Why? I'm leaving now. Good! Fine. Be that way. I will. Try not I'm to gonna suck go any have dick fun. on your way across the parking lot. <laughs> I might trip over all the penises out there. You might trip over my dick. You're sitting on it right now, and I'd appreciate it if you move. You got a bony ass. I do have a bony ass. For being so big, it's rather bony. Elise! God damn it, woman, how are you? If you love anything about your life, you turn around and go back to our traps. It's safer up there. So are we going to put this back? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to so do about So here's a question that. I have. It's a mustache. 
where exactly did this go? Like, show me in the engine. Where exactly did this go? It goes right here. Okay. And that blocks the tube that goes off to the EGR thing? Yeah. <laughs> this stops up. But wasn't the EGR tube completely blocked the fuck up? Yeah. So this... Was this why the EGR tube was completely blocked up? No. Are you sure? The EGR tube completely blocked before that was put in. So they put this in and got no effect out of it whatsoever. Yeah, isn't that kind of funny? Okay. That's funny. Well, it must have worked for a little while or something. Well, my thinking was if he put this in and now that tube's blocked, maybe shit just went up there and evaporated and that, that filled the whole thing with shit. Because this is filled with shit. So something had to have gone there at some point because it made it all the way up to here. Ah, see? There. Ah, science. Fuck you, science! You know what you should still do even though I won't be here? What? Send me a release of I'll send you a duplicate. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Done with that. Finish that troll. Why are you too. still here? Just to piss She you came off. to replace you. Just to no. piss you off. With her tamper proof shirt. It's a tamper-proof poncho. They make they make tape. You we I get a lot of mail. They make tape. I've seen it a couple times. That look that has like this pattern, and it'll say tamper evident. And if you cut the tape, you can't line the things back up, right? So that's a <laughs> tamper evident poncho. You say that. Tamper with my poncho. It protects the sanctity of your breasticles. Don't tamper <laughs> with my poncho. No. No. I need a bigger stick. I think you need to be assaulted. There we go. There you go. No. <laughs> oh, really? No. Okay, here. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, wait. Where'd that, where'd that kettle prime go? That is put away. Can we borrow that? No. Can I see it? Kettle prime for what? Yeah. Wow. A natural act. I can think of a few people I'd like to zap in the neck. Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> I think he'd be perfect. No, there are three people standing in the street. Yeah, but I'm one of them, so no. Yes. <laughs> was, You're at the top Well, that's top the fulcrum that bar. We need yeah. that. That's for a special tool. Yeah. Yes. Can't bring with your poncho. Were, were you no. proud of bear no. skin? No. Huh? No. Were you yeah. Proud? Yeah? This Wasn't that bad. Yeah. Do not tempt me. Beat him. Do not beat him again. I don't know. No, no, no. No, no, no. See, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. He's That's the sure. secret weapon, right there. You're just scary. Gonna fuck. <laughs> He's not sure whether or not he wants to try the cattle prod. No, I'm not sure. Not sure? No, I don't. <laughs> like, what kind of fucked up childhood did you have to have to be not sure? I mean, him, I get it. Okay. Actually, my babysitter chased me down all the time with those electric fly spotters. I was like five years old. Do you have a brother? Yeah. Then you're doing it wrong. You have to Here's your secret of survival. If you have a kid brother. When you get a babysitter, here's what you do. You get the babysitter, you're the evil babysitter. And what you do is you get your brother and you always maintain 180 degrees out of phase with the babysitter and have a weapon of some manner. You don't have to actually do anything, just always be on opposite sides of the babysitter. They won't come back. That's not true. It worked for me. I've had little kids that have tried to do that exact same thing it worked great. Guess what happened? You ended up locking yourself in the bathroom? No, oh, I ended up did. locking them into their rooms. We didn't get that. Yeah. I was, I was, not I was nice. hell on babysitters. I you're not the average babysitter, ass. though. You're, I have five brothers. Yeah, you're that not I the average babysitter. You're I don't kinda... take shit from small children. I love them dearly, <laughs> but I do not take she shit. She hates from kids. Children. That is not hates true. Hates kids. I love kids. Hates children. Which is, impre son, which is impressive because she's pregnant right now. Yeah, because I'm surrounded lizards. by children right now. I'm a grown ass adult. <laughs> That's I am the best goddamn I am, joke I've heard all day. I am Absolutely. totally. A, Why do you think when I'm here and I yell, I need an adult who's more adult than anyone in this building? There's a reason for that. I used if to. If I really need an adult, I go to Moose. I used to think she's a good adult, but yeah, Moose was born a 50 year old woman. I, I'm aware of that. That's, That's why thing. I like her. I used to. I used to think like, God, I'm not. I like. I feel exactly the same as I did when I was 18. Like, if this is being an adult, I'm really fucked, or I'm missing out on something. And I used to think that like, I just. I was in some way massively developmentally disabled. 
and then I built a school, and every now and then we have kids come in here, and I'm like, nope! I get it! Wow! I am adult. Cool. God, I hate kids. So, yeah. I like kids. I like kids for half an hour. Give me kids while I like got a bunch of awesome shit. We'll play, we'll blow some stuff up. We might, you know, do a little blood. They bounce right back at that age. And then they can go home. They can go the fuck home and home. get burns treated. And, but like, to like... Burns and do, psychological wounds. Oh, they're fine. Years of terrible. They block that shit right out. You kill one of their friends, like, you know, rip them into pieces with a chainsaw. There was a time with a wood chipper, that was pretty bad. But Don't say that. They, I've had they bounce right back. That. You've had nightmares about wood chippers? Yes. I, when I was seven, I caught the part in Fargo where the guy gets fed head first into the wood chipper. Okay. And, and you were scarred for terrified life. terrified me. That. This is why you wanted Wonka, a hatchet for your birthday? Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. I will not watch that again because it's the, the same thing. Because of the fan? No. It the gave two? me nightmares because my brother... Willy Wonka gave you nightmares. Horrible nightmares that I Dude. still remember to this day. My brother Willy turned Wonka into a giant blueberry nightmares. and popped. Okay. My other brother... My Father brother, Bargard sh- never pops. They, it, they it run her through the taffy thing. Because like, he still popped in my dreams. And then my oldest brother, Neil, got stuck in a chocolate candy prison. They're like, you can chocolate get out if you prison. eat... Your way out, but all of it was poisoned. So I watched him die. Both of my brothers died in violent manners because of that movie. I will not ever watch it again. <laughs> she goes see it there. Rose might be a si- social. My therapist looks Just... like Pooh Bear. You got she's a tiny Franciscan. Some nun, issues here. And she's adorable. Like and she gives deep me cookies. Seated psychological shit happening there. I just go and watch them. So okay. I'm okay with that. Also, I do not. Okay. I haven't watched it since it was the original's better. That the was new the version original. isn't as good. I haven't seen the, the new version. Okay. The new version is what the book is. Yeah, and it was really weird. All right. I like them I, both, but the original was better. I like the book version right. better. Don't, don't even, don't even, <laughs> don't even. I want to see that. Don't, don't even. Lot. Let's go outside. Really. Let's not do that. Yes, I've it's always wanted proper. to see this. Yeah. It's gonna be green. I want to see it. Wait, have you sprayed all the shit that you need to spray with copper? It's not. It's Really? Because I know how this ends. Winner, winner, okay. chicken dinner. I've done this shit before, and I just bought that fucking bottle of stuff, and now I'm going to have to buy another one tomorrow, and you're not going to get the job done tonight, because you're going to have used up all the fucking copper spray. You won't let me do my nitromethane don't, don't, Molotov don't. cocktail. No, I will not let, let you do one. nitromethane Molotov cocktail. Damn it, you're no I've fun. done it I'm, I am ab- I'm an adult. Really See, this is what happens fun. when you're no. an adult. Oh, that looks so cool. I was expecting green. So I was expecting green. Because oh. copper. Yeah. But it's blue. Yeah. Why is it blue? I don't know. Fuck me up. It's very pretty, though. All right, let's go back inside. Let's try it again. Look at the ingredients and then do some science. Hey, God damn it, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Next step is I get the fire truck out. <laughs> right? We're, we're covered. See, the problem with this, Chris, is there's more of us than you right now. Yeah. So there's that whole gang up on you and you try it up. You try it. Into a dumpster something. Not for yeah, nothing, so but that's been tried before and it didn't end good for them. <laughs> Did you ever see the blog video of Mikey and the, I don't and the watch shovel? Your blogs. There's a video. I'm in them. Way back. In fact, it's probably, it was because it was Casey or it's probably not even online anymore, but somebody has it. There's a video. Mikey thought it, he was a, he, Mikey was Batman. Six years ago, okay. Mikey got a little big for his britches one day, okay. and started to go fucking with me. And he had a shovel, okay. okay. And he's like, boop, boop, with a shovel. And he's gonna fuck with me. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, let's go. I'm like, all right. I had a Gerber. Okay. He had a shovel. Okay. Five seconds later, he's bleeding with the worst yeah. blood blister I have ever seen, because. Right? Because it's a I, Gerber. Yeah, no, yeah. oh, I know. I've gotten a blood so, blister from a boom. horse. You're riding it wrong. No. That's that not what ride. they mean by riding a horse, no, just so you know. I, yeah. Okay. I saw that video. Boom. Oh my god, I saw that. You're on E-Fucked. No. Rose is a girl on E-Fucked with the horse. No. Oh yeah. Rose rides no. a horse. Oh, motherfucker. Cool. Wow. I love that video. I, I can't believe you can still walk. I'm going to go self-medicate now. 
Holy shit! Yeah, no. Rose, Rose rides a pony. <laughs> I hate all of you. I'm okay with that. Particularly the asshole in the blue shirt. Good night, love! I hate that color. We all love you! We all love you.